What was it like transitioning from driver to administrator? Having been a driver, I knew what loads made sense and what didn't. And really that was, that uh, three week period before he came back was my indoctrination into the operations department. Arpin Van Lines, we are family strong. And we appreciate our family of drivers, drivers who have helped build this company. Drivers who are dedicated to their job while respecting the past. A past built on tradition where our family is your family and we stick together. We invite you to meet Arpin Van Lines president and CEO, David Arpin. Well, when I, when I moved into the office, um, things were a little different then. We had uh, both um, a, a truckers union, we had local 251, the Teamsters, and we had an office union as well. So it's, it, it took me a while to come to grips with that and to decide whether I really wanted to work with what I saw as, as people that you would, as the owner of the business, tell them you know, what to do or what you wanted them to do and basically they, they would tell you uh, where to go. Um, so I, I did drive after college for almost four years and you know, my dad kept asking me to come in to the business and it, and it was just kind of a scary proposition dealing with the unions. You know, as it turned out, we ended up um, about three years into it getting rid of the union. And so what I worked on initially was um, more administrative functions and really dealing with, with the unions. But in short order, my dad got sick and my father ran the operations department. And um, so he was in the hospital. He had, he had a, a prostate operation and had some complications. So he was going to be in the hospital for a month. And um, so I went to work one morning and told everybody my dad's not showing up. Went upstairs to my office doing what I was doing. I came downstairs and everybody was just standing around waiting for my dad to come to work and tell him what to do. So um, I said, my dad is not coming in anytime uh, soon. He had um, his prostate actually uh, burst at the time after the operation and um, was in intensive care. So I, I realized that nobody in the operations department at the time made a decision without without my dad so I jumped in having been a driver I knew what loads made sense and what didn't and really that was that uh, three-week period before he came back was my indoctrination into the operations department and uh, when he came back he's like so who uh, who did you know who was doing the dispatching and Ray Lucia who most people remember who had been here for I don't know how many years said your son. <laughs> so he said, you have a new responsibility <laughs> and that's operations. So we kind of split the country up back then. Um, he, did, he did the West Coast because he liked to come in a little later and I did the East Coast and then eventually uh, he turned um, you know, all of operations over to me. But I learned in short order that uh, the key to operations was communication with the drivers and the agents and, and the customers and making sure that everybody knew what their, their time frame was, was, what their schedule was, and um, how to go about uh, handling that. Arpin Van Lines, family strong for over a century. Interested in joining the Arpin family? Visit www.driveforarpin.com or call 877-759-3522 for further information.